Hey, what's going on guys? Michael from Spruce and Sharp here. Hope you're all doing well and welcome to some random corner of my apartment. I know I normally shoot all my videos in my bathroom, but I thought I would just try something new, kind of just see how a different backdrop would look. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at the Grand Classic Grooming Company's Texture Bomb, which is an oil-based clay advertising a stronghold as well as a matte finish. And it comes to us all the way from Australia. And the sort of notable thing about this product is I believe this is quite possibly the best oil-based clay I have ever used. And I'm not just throwing that praise out there lightly. I really do think this is in fact the best oil-based clay I've ever used. And I'm gonna talk about it with all of you, so let's just get right into it. As you see, it's a 3.5 ounce tin. I really do like the aesthetic. I think it looks really cool. I like the old school sort of racing aesthetic. And then here on the back, you have all of your necessary information like directions and ingredients and a few other little tidbits of information. And then when you take the lid off on the inside, you will see the sort of earthy gray colored product on the inside. And the standard scent for this product is coconut and coffee, and I absolutely love it. Normally coffee scents are only nice in the winter and fall, but having that little bit of extra coconut in there makes it much more of a year round friendly scent. And then just to show you what it looks like scooping it out, it's very smooth, very smooth consistency. It feels a bit sticky, a bit waxy, a bit thick. We actually put it in your hands, but overall, no issue there with breaking it down. And the same goes for the application. Applying it to the hair, there's no problem there either. I'm able to layer in three dime size scoops into towel dried hair to get this final style without any tugging or pulling. Now, this product advertises a strong hold. I would definitely say it has a nice, like strong, firm hold. Definitely feels very nice and present in the hair. And then also too, it definitely has like a nice, like more matte finish. I would say maybe a natural finish because it is oil-based where it doesn't add any shine to your hair, but it doesn't make it look artificially matte either. And the texture is absolutely beautiful. It gives a very nice sort of coarse texture that you won't get with a lot of water-based clays. This one, you get that nice sort of like waxy, clumpy, PC separation that you would get from an oil-based product, but without any of the grease or without any of the shine. So it allows for some really nice sort of waxy, PC texture to come through in a way that you just don't get from a water-based product. And the shape is really nice. The control is excellent. The unique thing about this product though is a lot of oil-based clays can tend to be really aggressively waxy and a little bit painful to work with because they are so waxy. At the same time, a lot of oil-based clays can tend to be really light and greasy, which neither of which works well for you going for some sort of textured hairstyle. Either way, your hair will get really clumpy and difficult to work with. But with the Grand Classic Texture Balm, I find this one to be especially unique in the sense that it's oil-based, but it doesn't feel greasy. It feels really nice and smooth. It feels very nice and hydrating and soft in the hair and you can just run your fingers through it all day and as you run your fingers through it it has a noticeable presence in the hair and like i said it's not greasy but you definitely feel the product in your hair still and it almost feels like it gives your hair a little bit of a boost in volume which is definitely nice especially if you're somebody with finer hair and you need some sort of product to give your hair some volume to give your hair a little bit of a lift i think this is definitely a contender for that because it even feels like it gives my hair a little bit of a boost in its body and its volume and my hair is definitely much thicker than somebody with fine hair so if it works for me it definitely will work for you if you have a finer hair type now as you see though i'm able to just run my fingers through my hair and restyle pretty much on the go if i want to and like i said that's one of the unique things about this product is it is so smooth you also run a comb through if you want to i have a little mirror right here just for reference and get some really nice shape get some volume back but for the most part, this product endures all day for me. If this is supposed to be a stronghold product in Australia where it's much hotter than where I live in New Jersey, this one gets me through the day, no problem. And the endurance is no question. And then also to wash it out at the end of the day, the interesting thing about this product is it actually has a high amount of an emulsifier in it, which does help with the washout. So I found that almost like half the product comes out of my hair with just water. And then to get rid of it completely, one or two shampoos is required depending on how much product I've used. But normally one shampoo takes it out for me, no problem. The final verdict on the Grand Classic Grooming Company Texture Bomb. I definitely think that this is the best oil-based clay that I've ever used because one, it's actually one of the few rare legitimately oil-based clays out there. There's no water in the formula, but the hold is excellent. It's very nicely balanced where it's not greasy, but it's also not aggressively waxy either. There is a smoothness. There's a unique presence about it in your hair. Definitely gives your hair a little bit of a boost in volume and body, which like I said, if you have fine hair, that's definitely worth investigating. And honestly, I would have never known that it was oil-based if I didn't have an ingredients list on the label because it feels so clean and it feels so smooth that very uncharacteristic of a lot of other oil-based clays out there. So like I said, oil-based clays, like true oil-based clays, 
It is a rare product type, but this is easily the best one that I've used because the endurance is excellent. It styles excellently. The texture is really nice. The hold is nice and strong. And then as you see, it gives a beautiful finish as well. That looks like a very nice, like natural sort of matte finish and it's easy to restyle. I really can't ask for anything more as far as an oil-based clay goes. Now, one of the advantages too of an oil-based clay is that it will be more consistent in the hair throughout the day compared to a water-based clay where water-based clays kind of go through like a settling in phase. You don't get that with this product. It stays consistent throughout the day, which is another really nice thing about it. And then also at the same time, what I like about oil-based clays is that I don't have to really manage my flyways as much as I do with a water-based clay. And this one really helps keep my flyways in check as well by keeping my hair a little bit more hydrated than a water-based clay will. But anyway, with that said, this was a review of the Grand Classic Grooming Company Texture Bomb. I definitely recommend that you guys check this out. I will have a link to it in the description down below. I bought it myself from Australia. It was more than $20, but it was definitely less than $30. So if you have the money, Highly recommend that you check it out. It's a great product. I have enjoyed it thoroughly just off camera. Just want to make a video to tell you guys about it. So yeah, with that said, just a little review of the Grand Classic Texture Bomb. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, don't forget to subscribe. Please do subscribe and then check the description down below for a more detailed written review on this product. And I will also compare this one to a few others on the market to give you a better picture of how it might stack up against some others in your collection. So yeah, with that said though, I'm gonna go get this video put together so I can get it up on YouTube for all of you. So y'all have a good one and I will see you soon with another video.